Hi, I'm Sylvia and this is my Honda Africa Twin. I love this bike. I use it for adventure travel on and off road. In my mind, there's only one brand for secure hard panniers and that's Touratec. I'm going to show you how to install the Zega Pro 2s onto my Africa Twin. Just put the key in, turn it and give it a sharp tug, off it comes. I'm using the 10mm socket and the extension to undo the rear seat. Remove the back seat. Now you remove the two 12mm bolts and the second one as well. Next I have to cut out the drilling template as supplied by Turatec. These circles indicate where you're going to drill and the best way I find is to just make a hole in the centre of each one. I've added a bit of gaffer tape to make sure that the template doesn't move between markings and I'm now going to mark through the holes where we're going to drill. And here are the two marks that I made with the paint pen. First thing I need to do is drill the pilot hole. Now we drill the second pilot hole. Good time to check that the pilot holes are in the correct position. View them from the top of the bike and look through. Perhaps put a torch on the other side to double check. Now I've put the 20mm drill bit on to enlarge the holes. I'm going to use the M8 bolt, the washer and the bush. Put the washer straight onto the bolt in both cases. Next you take the cross brace, make sure the flat side is up and thread the bolt tube from the other side. Then the bush goes in on the top. This is now ready to assemble onto the bike. To install the cross brace, you make sure that the long side is over the muffler. Let the screws drop down through the bushes, then insert the bushes into the holes and push the screws back up. With the 13mm socket still on, you tighten that to the other side. After you've put the rear tongue and groove in on the front seat, you've got to consider the middle pin which goes straight down and then after that the front pin which goes at an angle of 45 degrees. So you first you click this one in you hear a distinct click and then you basically pull this forward and click it down at the 45 degree angle. This is the lower cross brace and each side of it requires a plastic bush to be inserted into it. The important thing to notice with this is that it's flush on each side with the metal. Also that the middle bit here lines up, then you just tap it in. until it's flush. These two plastic bushes go into the pannier slots. They are different. There is a left and a right. The thicker side faces the bike and the more aggressive slant faces the rear of the bike. And you just slot them in. The pannier rack is the next part of the assembly. First you put at the tongue groove in, making sure that the hole in, on the rear brace is um, underneath, the brace is underneath the, the rack and then this attaches to the upper bolt from the rear from the passenger peg. In my case I've taken that off and I have steg pegs which will go on top. Install the lower rear cross brace. Make a note that it has a short and a long side. The long side allows for the muffler. I've pre-put together the, the M6 by 25 screw with the washer on and the plastic bush. Just pop that through here, lining it up. Then you install the another washer and the nut on the other side. The M8 by 20 bolt and its washer go in, in the top. And the other washer and the nut go in on the bottom. We'll need a 6 hex and a 13mm spanner to tighten this. 
If you're using pin foot pegs on your bike, you may need to use these bushes. Have a look at the user manual on how to apply these. I've removed mine and running steg pegs instead. Now I'll assemble the bracing pad for the pannier. You put the two little rubber washers on and find the right set of holes that you meant to put them on. They're different for each bike. For the Africa Twin it's the very end ones. And then um, get the screw which has already got the washer assembled into it and carefully screw it in. And screw in the second screw. This is the lock that locks the pannier to the bike. It comes with a, a nut and a flange on the end here which you're not going to use that flange, you need to put this flange on. This is the order, we'll be putting some Loctite on here, putting it through here, then we'll be putting this nut on, this flange and that nut back on. We'll put that through the hole here and put this on. I tighten the large um, nut with the spanner. Um, this little flange has a little rubber band on it and it's very important the position that you have it on when you're installing it. You have it here initially and later on you'll move it up to tighten it and stop the rattling happening when you're riding. So we'll put that on. Cut. To install the pannier make sure that the key is in the unlock position. Put the bottom guidelines on ensuring that the rubber guides are within the, the bracket. Then you just simply rotate it forward and it'll clip in at the top and then you just keep on pushing until, it, until you hear the lock locking in. To put it on, line the bungs up, push. To take it off, lift the release 10 mils, take it off. Again, line up the bungs and just push until it clips on. To remove it, just lift it 10, 20 mils and pull. What I really love about the Ziga Pro 2 is, is that you can open it from this side or from this side or from both sides and just undo this to take the lid off completely. These are the tools that I use. Pause the video to see the details. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more of my Africa Twin tips and adventures.